You're chilling out with Hip Hop TV. V. Titles obviously aren't something that sit with you. Or you're just a very laid back man. I don't find necessary. Yeah. I only do what we do. If you really need the title, then that's just a fact. That's just what you string yourself with. Do you think hip hop's really built on titles today, though? Or do you think a lot of the um, newer artists are well, more Well, a lot of a lot of people do that because when you look at people that are you know like to be called somebody else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The true artist does it for the past month exactly. because if you make right. music, if you don't take a picture because you want to be called so and so chief painter. Yeah. You, know, you know, it's like you have to get to keep your passion. But throw away a lot of the nonsense. That's right. That's right. You don't have to be a CEO to be a Not only are you obviously co founder, um, you have a really, really rich history steeped in music, no doubt. You've been a sound engineer, uh, you've done some production as well, I, I believe you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've done lots of, lots of things. Some of the groups that you were mentioning to me before, I mean, this is, it blows me away. Yeah, in the eighties, in the eighties, uh, I worked as a, I worked with Lakeside Sound, Midnight Star, the Dio, Babyface. I was with Solar Records at the time, so I was right. a, I was the chief engineer. So okay. all these records I made, I mean, the list is long. It's just kind of hard to yeah. make them all. But a lot of stuff. It's it's amazing that when we got off the plane, I was picked up in the airport. Right. I was listening to a radio station. I'm going, I'm excited. I'm excited. You know, oh. I don't go, you know, you know, like, 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 you know, no worries with that. See, I got that. There you go. You know, so it's, it's, this one song comes on, and then, you know, a few minutes later, I'm going, I miss that. that. Yeah. You know? Does and that what, blow but, you away? But what blows me away is the fact that these are songs that are, you know, about 20 years old, and you guys are still enjoying them. Yeah. You know, it doesn't blow me away the fact that I did it, because when I did it, I enjoyed it. Yeah, of course. Uh, I, and then a lot, but just the fact that you guys love me. So that's the thing. If the station is playing it like that, you know, they're in that station right now. She's pleased to come with you. No, so they just wouldn't be doing it because I'm really going to come. No, no, because definitely they didn't not. Know. Exactly. You they know? would have so had no That's idea. my <laughs> point. But it's, it's like, it's, it's, it's nice. I've been to other countries and it's the same thing. You know. Yeah, you know, you can go, but and it takes you back because then you remember those sessions and oh, the, sure. the people. And, you know, sure. Now, I have to ask you, obviously, from that start for you obviously nothing to do with hip-hop back then you're now heavily steeped in hip-hop the game would have certainly changed when you first started with death row. obviously we've already well, I, discussed I, a name change I, can, I, can, I have to tell the story about the game has changed but this is about mixing records i came from mixing these multi-time albums stories. my very first hip-hop record i mixed was sent back to me Coming from, you know, from extremely technical and all that, but in the early days of hip-hop, it was very the only expansion, but I made records with perfection. Yeah. So I gave them the perfect record technically, and they said, but it's, it's too good. Yeah. It's not good. Yeah. And then that's when I started to think, you know, back to, you know, I went back to the roots on that, mm -hmm. and we worked from the way out from the foundation of what it's about, mm -hmm. and then we started to create the sound. Because as you know, the sound of Death Row, uh, the sound of the music, Evolved from more than what it was, so that was how I made the transition. So it was just a little growth. Okay. Wow. And, but it was the only time I ever had a record rejected in my life. I'm like, here you go. And I go, no, here you go. Okay, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna flip it on you and you take it back now. I like your style. I like that. Um, okay, Death Row, the sound, the artists. Um, what is it do you think about the artists? Obviously, the ones from before, the Tupac's, Snoop's still doing his thing. To today, you know, dog pound corrupt the whole deal. What do you think it is about the artists on Death Row that give them the edge? Well, the thing is, is from the start they were all new and had a lot of passion. Mm -hmm. So coming out, they actually learned a lot. They were super talented, and that's one thing they really say. He's an in-demand man. <laughs> I have to turn this off. Um, anyway, they, there was a lot of passion coming about yes. and all that. And that's something that was in the growth. They bred into all of them. Being together all the time, they're very strong. The music was one thing that even when in times like that, when there wasn't a lot of money, that everyone had in common, it was almost like a passive price. So even if there was a lot going on, we could sit in the studio and music and all that stuff. But in, in essence, it's almost like a security place. Yeah. It's your comfortable place. Right. And then, you know, performing is something that you have to do with it. So it's, they could uh, they could perform at any time. Yeah. When I when I did the, the soundtrack with Deep Cover, we did the, I did that in a week. And it's oh. like I could just pick up the phone and say, Who's who's here today? 
send those two in, and we create a song and do it. I mean, we were doing this for the movie, and, and it's just, you know, stuff like that. We had, we just had a couple of rotten that mm -hmm. was, was amazing, so. And that still obviously it, continues today. It still obviously yeah. continues, because the guys still all work together. Anytime time you see them, they have a lot of love, but when they're all in town, they're somewhere together. Mm -hmm. And I'll work, and whether, whether it goes on the record or not, they still get in there and go through the process of making it, and it could just be for their own pleasure. This has given a whole different kind of sheen to Death Row because, like you said, the media has tainted it throughout the years. It's been the yeah. most dangerous label in the world. The artists are always. If it were all about <laughs> that, everyone would be dead or yeah, Totally, totally. Uh, totally. Realistic. You know, you, you look at you look at we look at corrupt. You see corrupt in RDX here. If that were the case, they would approach everyone differently. Exactly. Like this. But exactly. you know, people see them floating around and. If you really didn't know what was in, you know, you yeah. think it's okay, just, you know, it's just so Exactly, exactly right. Okay. Now, I have to go here with this question. Um, no doubt you, you obviously do have a working relationship with Shug. Uh, yeah, I have had worked with him for a long time. The issue is that when it all started out, it was innocent good. So he so was a nice guy. Yeah. I think, you know, I'm not going to go into so much because, you know, he's got his problems, yeah. you know. Highly publicized, no doubt. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, and he has to do that, but he started out, he was a nice guy. You know, I mean, he, he did everything he could. You know, and then as things go on, you know, he knows come about, and, you know, I'm sure, you know, there's a, there's a certain amount of security on his part, mm -hmm. which he had to maintain. But, you know, I, I wish everyone the best, but, you know, it's their own genius to do it. That's right, that's right. And that's what, uh, again, it's another aspect of hip-hop. You've got your own demons to deal with, but you still want to get on the show. Right. Um, I guess for your show, um, how how long have, well, how have you managed to maintain it and, and survive in this industry? Well, it kills many. Numerous, <laughs> numerous. Well, the most important thing is I've always been honest. I've always, uh, I've always been fair. I've been, you know, I do my, I, I have a passion about the work. I'm not, I'm not the guy that likes to be in front of the scene. You know, this, this is rare. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I prefer not. It's, it's about the artists. It's not about us. Uh, my friends asked, you know, asked me, who's holding the camera now? <laughs> would I do this? And I had no problem. He was a nice guy that we talked. You know, he had a passion about it. So I mean, he never, as you know, he was like, I would be wrong. But the way I've always worked is very yeah. passionate. If I can help or What's next for you? Who for you knows? Personally? Who knows? And lots of things. Well, what's really next for me would probably be about three hundred hours of sleep. <laughs> but that, that's not coming soon. Yeah, so that's that's well, well, whatever comes about. I have, you know, I have a few labels. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I don't just deal in hip hop. I have an artist from Chile. Uh, uh -huh. uh, you know, but I do have a hip hop artist. I have boxes. Really good. You know, we shot a movie in the early days in a couple of months. And it's, it's the West Coast gangster thing. Okay. You know, so, you okay. know, so I'm, not, I'm not against it at all. It's just as long as, it, as, long as it's honest and being creative. Yeah. You know, and, I, and I, I'm not with the constant killing and all this because that's not real. Yeah. And that's bad. It gives the wrong impression. But if you can, sometimes you can describe the life and that's not what goes on. And then. It makes sense, but if it's just about the glorification or to sell rangers to a pair, this is wrong. You know, it's also it it's also rather a paranoid and insecure the person they feel they need to do this exactly. to to appear to be a There's no need. Yeah. Uh, we've been having a great chat with uh, John, um, co-founder of uh, Death Row Records, and, and no doubt a man with many many passions and and quite a busy schedule on his hands. So uh, I think we'll end the. Uh, the interview here and thank Must you so be. much for your time. Are you enjoying this? Are you? I'm enjoying it. <laughs> we could talk for hours, believe me, we could. Um, but uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to, uh, to have met yeah. you. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> I get to do this. See, see how good life is when you do the this right is the thing? Perk. <laughs>